WrestleMania is right around the corner. And a lot of times when you think of moments from over the years, you think of, you know, great feuds leading up to it, you think of great matches, but more often than not, they involve some sort of title change or a title defense. And this year is absolutely no exception. WrestleMania 40 is set to feature damn near every title on the line. And since that you know, that's coming up, I decided, hey, let's take a look at the card and decide which titles are on the hot seat. Uh, if you don't know what the term, like the term hot seat is, it's typically used in uh, professional sports of a hot seat of a, like a coach about to get fired, a general manager, something like that, who is in danger of losing their title, their job, all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through all the champions currently in WWE and NXT and figure out whose title is on the hot seat. Now I'm using a scale one to five with one being there's no way in hell they're losing a title this uh, WrestleMania weekend to five, meaning go ahead and bet the house. You're you're going to win there. There's no way they're walking out this weekend with a title. I did. And then I did use a zero when it's, it's already been confirmed that the t title is not being defended this coming weekend. So there's also those two. But yeah, enough explanations. Let's get right into it. All right, starting off with the Heritage Cup of NXT, currently being held by the No Quarter Catch Crew. This title was won by Charlie Dempsey of the No Quarter Catch Crew last month in on an NXT episode, defeating longtime champ Noam Dar. Is at least like as of right as of the making of this, there's no title defense that could change. Maybe a pre-show title of the defense. We don't know, but there's not enough juice there to really justify main uh, card defense. So again, unless there's no, I guess, unless there's a last minute uh, change, a pre-show maybe, I don't see this title being defended. So this title is now on the hot seat, giving it a zero. Next we'll head to the WWE women ta women's tag team titles currently held by the Kabuki Warriors. As of the making of this, the Kabuki Warriors, along with Dakota Kai of the all women faction damage control are set to take on Jade Cargill, Bianca Belair, and Naomi in a six six women tag at WrestleMania. With that, the titles are not on the line. Therefore, no hot seat. It gets a zero. Next, we have the NXT Tag Team Champions of Braun Breaker and Barrett Corbin. They will they are set to defend their titles at Stand and Deliver, which is NXT's version of WrestleMania, but their challengers are not yet announced because NXT this week, three teams are going at it. The OC, uh, LWO and Axiom and Nathan Frazier. I look at this and I just think it doesn't really matter. Uh, Braun and Breaker and Baron Corbin are fun champs uh, and whoever they throw in their way is probably gonna keep it. So I'm giving it a, I would give this a one. I'm gonna give this a two. The only reason I, I didn't give it a one is because Braun is now officially a part of the SmackDown roster as well. So it could be a thing where he drops it, then officially moves on to SmackDown full time instead of doing double duty. But I don't see it happening. Give it a two. Next, we have the undisputed tag team titles currently held by Finn Balor and Damian Priest of the Judgment Day. These titles are being defended in a six team ladder match at WrestleMania, which means there'll be six teams. And the goal is to Get a ladder, get it in the ring, climb the ladder, grab the title. Now, normally that that that's about, that says uh, that's a recipe for a disaster, losing your title. However, there's not really any of the teams uh, fighting in there are super super hot and like just needs the title on them. Judgment Day have been champions for about eight months now. They first defeated Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, then again they beat Jey Uso, Cody Rhodes, and now. You know, dissension in the ranks, what's going on with them, yada, yada, yada. So I gave this a four. I do think we see a title change here. Yeah, I, I didn't give it five because it, it could always be some weird thing happens. They cheat, not, well, not cheat, do the cute, but they do something and pull it off and title stays on Judge of the Day, but I don't know. Uh, it's a four. More than likely, we're seeing new tag champs at WrestleMania. Next, we have the NXT North American champion, Obafemi. So Obafemi is set to defend his title 
in a triple threat match, Josh Briggs and Dijak. And this is just three huge dudes just pounding each other. Pause. But yeah, this is going to be big meaty man slapping meat. Um, had this been at any point else, like has this been down the line in Oba's uh, defense, I could see the, uh, the hot meter going out to like a four. But they, NXT is building Oba Femi, as they should. He is dominant. He carries himself well as a champion. He's getting better on the mic each week. He has a crowd behind him. He's being built up for the future. He's being built up as probably, potentially the star of NXT for 2024. I'm gonna give this a two. I didn't give us a one because Dijak has been the MVP of NXT basically for the first part of 2024. So he could sneak away and, I could, and it doesn't shock me at all with the title. And then Dijak and uh, Femi just fight each other for months, which would be kind of dope. More than likely, Oba, Oba Femi is retaining. So I'm giving us a two on the hot meter. All right, next we have Intercontinental Champion, the Ring de la Gunta, who is in the midst of like a 600 uh, day reign. He's made a case in that reign of being the best wrestler, best worker on the roster, defeating future Hall of Famers, up and comers with any move he wants to. And at WrestleMania, he faces Sami Zayn, who is a star in his own right, and is coming uh, into the match with a very much an underdog story of like, uh, I don't know if I can beat him. Bah, 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 bah. I am unsure of myself. Bah, 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 bah. I ain't need any motivation. Bah, 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 bah. If you ask me the wrong person in this match, it, sh it should have been Chad Gable in this match, but I already made a video on that. Uh, go find it on my, on my channel. I will say this match was for me the hardest one to give a grade to because every possible scenario was running through my head. Sammy winning, he's, he has enough cachet, he has enough star power to be the one to take out Gunther. But at the same time, Gunther is the guy. I can see him rolling into uh, the summer as still as champion. You know, they're going very, they're going European a lot for the summer with Backlash at France and then the Bash in Berlin in September, August, something like that. I don't know what the exact date, but yeah, I can see him going uh, as champion to that. So I'm gonna give Gunther a three because I just did not know where to place it. And with a very real possibility of Sammy winning, three it is. Next, we have the United States champion, the Maverick, Logan Paul. Logan Paul has been champion since November, early November, defeating Rey Mysterio to capture the United States title. Since then, he has defended the title once against Kevin Owens at uh, Royal Rumble. And now he's at WrestleMania and a triple threat match against said Kevin Owens and also the legend, Randy Orton. And while the title has really been defended and Logan has, is not there every single week, obviously he's a, a celebrity outside. To me, he has carried the title uh, really well uh, outside the ring doing appearances and stuff, which lends me to think WWE is fine with that continuing. Now, it's not my official prediction, but as far as uh, him in danger of losing his title, I will give it a two. His title is almost relatively safe. Um, the only other scenario I see is Kevin Owens win it because him and Kevin Owens have been beefing for all 2024 so far. Randy could win it. It doesn't really do it, anything for him. I think that hurts everyone involved more than it helps. Again, Kevin could win because they had the feud. Kevin got close at War Rumble, all that stuff. He's been beefing with Logan all these months, but I give it a two. I'm leaning towards Logan. Damn, that is a prediction. Okay, free prediction. I, I'm leaning towards Logan retaining at WrestleMania. So it is a two on the hot meter. All right, let's go. To, let's go to NXT Women's Champion Lyra Valkyra. Lyra has been champion for a while when she beat Becky Lynch in the fall. And like, she's had a decent uh, uh, run, but definitely her best challenger of the reign is coming up in Roxanne Perez, who's gone like a, undergone a, a renaissance of a character from like, yeah, I'm just happy to be here to like, yo, I'm the bitch. You know, F you, F your mama, F your daddy, F everybody. And that was portrayed more because she uh, claims you know, she deserves a time. Again, I'll, I'll make a prediction video, but getting back to this match, 
Uh, their build has been decent. Roxanne attacked Lyra recently at one of NXT special episodes and like snapped her arm on a turnbuckle and again attacked Lyra recently. Um, with all this and the reign of Lyra's been eh, this hot, this hot meter is up to a four. I do think more than likely we see a title change. And I, I think Lyra's run has been again, eh, but it'll be a refresh to see her as a challenger uh, coming up. So the hot meter for Lyra's title is a four, not a five, a four. Next we have WWE women's champion EO Sky. Was it the genius of the sky? Cause I'm gonna put the name in the moniker. Um, so EO is taking on Bailey, who is Bailey is a 2024 women's Royal Rumble winner. I mean, if you don't know, whoever wins the Royal Rumble is guaranteed a title shot at WrestleMania the same year. Bailey and EO are tight for the past two years in a in a group called Damage Control, which Bailey Bailey helped form until Damage Control turned their backs. So now Bailey and EO are fighting at WrestleMania, and I'm just gonna say it: this is a five. Take it to the bank, bet the house. EO is dropping that title to Bailey. The story makes sense. Bailey is, uh, is going to get her huge, huge WrestleMania moment and what I dubbed the forgotten main event because this was being built as potentially the night one main event. And then a certain bald uh, movie star came through and ruined all that. So in the forgotten main event, EO's uh, title is in danger. It is a five on the hot meter. Next, we have the world's world world's women women's world is he a women's world champion or world's women i don't know it's rhea ripley the women's world champion rhea's been enjoying a cool reign since last year's wrestlemania uh, charlotte since then anyone in her path including four women at once at crown jewel in november she's defeated she's now taking on becky lynch at wrestlemania so this one has been pretty good uh becky and uh, Rhea have been kept apart. It's been teased all year. And now we finally get to see them go one-on-one at WrestleMania. The hot meter for this is a three because both results make sense. Either with Rhea, Rip uh, Rhea winning or Becky winning, either one makes sense story-wise. And you know, it's not a shock. It's not in a, in a bad way to see one lose this. So I'm gonna give it a three. Hey guys, real quick. Watch it back to editing. I completely forgot the NXT title uh, held by Ilya Dragunov, the Mad Dragon. He defends at Stand and Deliver against the Don of NXT, Tony D'Angelo. I put him at a two on the hot meter because while well, I can see a change, if there's going to be a change for a sake of being a change, like a shock value at uh, Stand and Deliver, it will be this match. I just don't see it. I think. Ilya has more, uh, better feuds down the line for this. So I put the hot mirror there too. Uh, but yeah. Next, we have the world heavyweight champion, Seth freaking Rollins. I, I hate that freaking is. I hate that freaking is part of his name. Like officially, I, it's stupid. Anyway, Seth is defending his title against Drew McIntyre. And I'm just gonna say it. This is also a five. Bet the house, bet your 401k. Seth Rollins is dropping his title at WrestleMania. He's held it since early or end of May. I think end of May last year, something like that. When he he's the first uh, winner of this inc incarnation of the World Heavyweight Title. He won it in a tournament. Yada yada, beating everybody in his way. Drew has been working his ass off. He's been player hater of the year so far in 2024. Then you account for bloodline stuff. You account for the money in the bank, Damian Priest. There's no way in hell Seth walks out of night two because the, the match has been confirmed to be on night two. No way in hell Seth walks out of night two as the world heavyweight champion. Like once again, the hot meter is a scolding five. Last but not least, we had the WWE champion and Roman Reigns, your tribal chief. Roman's, you know, Taiwan has been well documented. It started with winning the Universal title three and a half years ago. It was like 
August of, it was either late August, early September, 2020, mid pandemic. And since then he has defended it and captured the WWE title at WrestleMania 38 in a unification. And since then he has defended it. He's up at like 1300 days, something around, at least something around there. I don't know. He faces maybe not his toughest test, but definitely his most emotional test. And that is Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes part D. If you don't know, Roman Reigns defeated Cody Rhodes with the help of his family at last year's WrestleMania 39 night two main event. And this year to running it back, Cody won the Royal Rumble 2023, which was cool because I was there. <laughs> yeah. But uh, he, he, he won it again this year. And so he solidified his shot at the title. And for this match, I'm putting the hot meter at a four. Me personally, it'll be a six. It's time, in my opinion. And I could see it, the title reign going longer because there's a certain, there's a certain douchebag with a very famous blonde mustache that had the title for 1800 days that I can see WWE trying to break that streak. But I just think it doesn't matter. And with all the bloodline stuff going on, the rock back, the night one main event, which is Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes versus rock, uh, Roman Reigns and the rock, which has a direct impact on night two. If Seth Rollins and Cody win, the rest of bloodline is barred from Cody Roman. If rock and Roman win, then the night two main events contest are in bloodline rules, which basically means that family can do whatever the hell they want. But with all that, I do think me personally is time. So that's a pseudo prediction, but the title to me is ready to change hands. It's ready to usher in a new era, which is why the hot mirror is at a four. Again, it's not a five just because of other historical avenues they're trying to go to, but what I feel it in my bones, it's time. And it, it, it it's time, I feel it. But this is just what I think, and we won't know until we watch. But thank you so much for watching this. Said I will have a stand and deliver prediction video soon. I'll have a WrestleMania prediction video soon. Be on the lookout for that. But you know, until then, uh, it I'm heartfelt. Find me at it's heartfelt on all socials, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.